Going back to that first thing, one of the major problems with this picture, okay? There's a huge amount of dead space in this picture, okay? I mean, not only, you know, it's really just all this stuff up at the top. I mean, and I, I, I crop this intentionally to be like, this is the way the pictures were really taken. You know, I didn't like zoom in on that one or something like that. That's just you know, pretty much the way it was. So when you, if you're, if you're using, you know, the the right amount, if you're zooming in enough so that your resulting picture actually only has stuff that's interesting in it, it, it has a a multi, it's a it's sort of a um, a multiplicative effect on resolution because not only are you getting more pixels vertically, but what it does is it allows you to speed the camera up. In fact, it requires you to speed the camera up in order to keep the object in proportion. Okay? Which is why, you know, not only is this person on the right physically larger, you know, vertically, he's also wider. Right? And what does it mean to be wider? Well, you better you have to be taking, you know, more frames per second. Right? What does that mean? That means that if you have a close race, you're gonna have a better chance of separating the athletes because you have more slices of image. Right? So and you know, really the only caveat is that your camera has to have the speed and the lens in order to you know access those more pixels. Um, and you have to have sufficient light to get the proportions right. So I mean, it, if you're in a situation where you can get to that 1,000 pixels, or even if you're using a pro camera, you can get even more than that. Um, you know, we have pictures from the Olympic trials where you're running, um, you know, 4,000 frames per second, 2,000 pixels at zoom 150 percent. You know, and if you have the light to do it, as far as I'm concerned, there's no particular reason not to do it unless you have like an old computer that can't handle that, you know, files that large. Um, some people say, oh, well, you know, I don't like to take pictures that have a, a lot of pixels in them because they're hard to work with. There's that, you know. Many situations, in fact, you know, back when we were doing you know, the World Championships in, in, in speed skating and, and uh, particularly in rowing events, again, where you have these very wide finish lines, what we used to do is just set up a template, and the template, you know, essentially has the, the image zoomed down to a lower resolution when you take it, right? So when you capture the image, it comes up as, you know, at 50% or 25% or something like that. So it's, you know, you can, if you can see what you need to see and read what you need to see at 50% or 25%, great. Just go down through, you know, if you're doing a distance race or something, you just need to pop down through it. But, you know, if you get to a, a, a point in the image where you'd like to zoom in, it's nice to have the pixels that you're zooming in on be real pixels and not, you know, made up pixels, right? And the way to do that is just to have more pixels in the image when you took it. Um, like I said, the field that you should fill available is pixels. We already talked about that. Um, <clears throat> so, light is the um, is the second thing that. Um, what, how long am I going here? Is Giles here? Yeah. Anyone help me? I'm supposed to go to ten fifteen now. Is everything moved off? Is that right? Okay. Um, so light is. Um, is obviously a huge issue. If anyone who's done photography um, outside of finish lengths understands that the, the, you know, photography is primarily about light. Um, and a lot of that is about lenses. And that's why fast, when I say fast lenses, five what? Minutes. Five minutes left. Pretty much. You can go longer if you want. So what? No, no, but I. I I thought you said everything was pushed off 15 minutes or no. Okay. You lied to me. Yes. No, but I wanted you to have some type of questions at the oh, end. Okay. Yes. But how long, when am I ending? What time? Uh, 10 15. 10 15? Yes. Okay, sorry. And unless I'm missing something, it's 10 of ish. It is 10 of. <laughs> when I say fast lenses, I mean uh, lenses with low numbered f stop. So a fast f, uh, an f1.4 lens gets faster than an f2 lens or an f2.8 lens. Okay. If 
you're using Z-mount lenses, um, the lens is sort of the, the most common lens that we sell, the off-the-shelf lens is an f1.2 lens. You're not going to find anything faster than that. Okay. That's, that's one of the reasons we sell it is because it's, uh, it's, it's a really great fast lens. The issue, the only real issue with C-mount lenses is that they're limited to the amount of resolution that they can access. Right? So if you're, if you're running a C-mount lens on, on a, um, a, a 1,000 frame per second by 500 pixel camera, it's no problem. It can, you know, it can image the whole thing it's fine. But as soon as you, if you want to go to a camera that has 2,000 frames per second by 1,000 pixels or even more than that with a pro camera, um, yeah, you pretty much need to use an F-mount lens in order to get more light shining on the sensor. Right? And that's where um, you need to be more careful about acquiring lenses that are fast. If you look at anyone that's taking uh, you know, really, really good images on a consistent basis, they're probably using F-mount lenses. Right? And, and that means using you know, a, an MCR of, of remote your lens now. And what it probably also means is that because it's sort of the equivalent zoom lens in an F-mount format to that 12.5 you know, to 75 millimeter C-mount lens that we sell um, in F1.2 is, you know, for, for about the same money in a, in a Nikon F-mount lens, you're going to get an F2.8. So if you've lost about four times, a little more than four times your light in moving from that C mount to that F mount. If you stick with that zoom um, configuration. So, what does that mean? What that means is that what I recommend, if anyone, if you're serious about, you know, sort of moving up to higher resolution images, whether it's because you just want to take better images so you can size better, races better, or whether it's because you want to print the pictures, um, it's worthwhile rather than sort of getting a, a you can still have a zoom lens in your in your uh, kit, but to just get a few fast fixed lenses, okay? Because of the fact that finish lens doesn't need the the, the East lens camera doesn't use any of the AIS stuff that's on the modern lenses, um, you can usually get a lot of these kind of the older lenses used at, uh, at pretty reasonable prices. Um, check out the local camera store. So having kind of a set of those fixed lenses and taking advantage of those digital zoom modes within the camera to sort of deal with, uh, you know, well, I have to put my camera in this location. And then, you know, my lens isn't exactly the right size. You know, maybe you can use some of the, the, the zoom modes to help you kind of um, get to where you want to be. That, I think, is, is a, a huge um, issue in taking better pictures. 